you if you're new here that's zo i'm day and welcome to the channel <laughs> said four months i ain't even gonna lie to y'all but it's like a three month review of being at prime inc just gonna talk about you know my likes and my dislikes why i chose the least you know just pretty much that that but before i start the video if you're interested in coming to prime whether you just got your cdl and you're trying to do the tnt training you're trying to be company if you're trying to lease if you're trying to be a team driver it don't matter I really appreciate if you use my referral code that is Hall Tam H A L T A M. It'll be in the description down below and on the screen. Let's get to the video. So three months of being at prom. Um, first off, I would say orientation was pretty smooth, like no cap. Due to the fact that I was already an experienced driver, I don't, you know, I didn't have to do no TNT training or whatnot. I didn't have to go on the road with a with a trainer. When I first got there, I got there actually two days early. I got there on a Saturday. Class didn't start till Monday. As soon as you get in, we go to the class. You know, we check in, make sure we there. He's going to call out if you're going to be a lease or a company driver. Um, if you if you start enough with TNT, you're automatically a company driver until you're done with that. Then once you're done and you get ready to upgrade, that's when you can decide if you want to stay company or if you want to lease. So you're gonna do that. Then we went and we took our physical. If you are overweight, you will. It is mandatory that you will have to do a sleep study test. Prime is big on health. They just wanna make sure everything is good. You pass that um that sleep study test, you're good to go. You'll get your DLT physical. It doesn't matter if your physical, your I mean your DLT physical, your DLT medical. It doesn't matter if it's for the expire, if you just got it three months ago. They're gonna make you do another physical to get you a new uh, DOT medical card. You will have to do a like basically a like a, a driver's test, but it's not gonna actually be in a truck. It's gonna be like one of those stimulator machines. And well, now you will have to do that. Of course, you're gonna have videos like a typical orientation. I think you had like maybe 60 videos. But you do, I think you have to have all those done by Wednesday. They're pretty simple videos, so you can get done with them quick. Don't play around like I did. I waited to Tuesday and. I, they didn't get done until like 12, 1 o'clock that night. So don't play around like I did. Go ahead and get them done. They feed you. They do have shuttles to take you back and forth. The facilities, in my opinion, Prime has some of the best terminals. I know we have one in Salt Lake City. We have one in Springfield, Missouri. We have one in Manuka, Manuka, Illinois. And I think there's one in PA. I'm not for sure. Don't don't take my word for it but i know they do have some new ones coming i know one's going to be in dallas i don't know where the other one's going to be but they have some some very very dope terminals i'm talking about big workout rooms uh basketball courts cafes like in my opinion the three years of trucking they have the best terminals in my opinion they have a company store a huge company store you can get damn near everything you need from hygiene products to Prime merch to change to stuff you need for your truck, like yeah, it's dope to me. Like orientation was definitely a ten out of ten. The hotels is a typical orientation hotel. It's not that bad, you know. They they cleaners be up and on it from what I I saw when I was in orientation. You know, after I got done with orientation, I did my sleep study test. Everything came back good. A good. I instantly was able to uh, pick out my truck. If you're doing leasing, you will go through success leasing where either you're gonna be flatbed, reefer, or tanker division. Each division have their own truck, so they'll give you a list and you have to pick out of those trucks. And if you like it, go ahead, get your contract, you sign it, and instantly you can let them know you're ready for a load and they gonna give you a load. So, orientation was pretty smooth to me. The, the pay was pretty smooth, I think. I was there Monday, I got paid Friday. Due to the fact that I wasn't on the truck yet, they paid me for the days that I wasn't on the truck. So within that first week, I, my check was almost $800 orientation pay plus the days that I wasn't on the truck. So it was pretty smooth for me. I chose leasing because I wanted to be more in control of where I go. 
and the freedom that I, I have within being in a truck. You have the right, you can you can refuse, like with leasing, you don't have to take the load if you don't want to. Like me, I'm not a big fan of the Rocky Mountains. Like I would drive in them, but like come that come the winter time, I don't I don't too much fool with the Rocky Mountains. Anywhere where I'm possibly gonna have to chain up, I really don't want to fool fool with it too much. So, you know, I, that's why I want the least to be in control. Like, if they try to see me that way, I can refuse it. Also, with leasing, is you don't get paid cents per mile. You get paid percentage of the load. Flatbed and reefer is 72% of the load. And tanker is 71% of the load. So, in my eyes, from, from where I have, where, where I came from, it's, it's pretty decent money to me. Like, if you do what you, you gotta do, you can run up a bag leasing, like, no cap. That's really my likes. I really don't have any. Only thing dislike that I really have is in the reefer division. You get, per, you get one free fill up per trailer that you have, like, for instance. If I was on the low right now and my reefer is getting low and I was to fill up and that was my first fill up, that'll be a free fill up. Say for instance, I have to fill up and I'm doing a live unload and I keep the trailer. And what the next pre-plan they see, send me, it's a live load. I get that, you know, I have to keep that trailer. And then say I have to drop it off at a Tyson or, or a Walmart or something. I have to make sure that the, the reefer is on, uh, on at least three fourths, or they can turn me around and go fill it up. That 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 fill up will be on me. So I just feel like I, I really don't like that because I'm like these. This isn't my trailer, you know. I can understand me being responsible for the fuel for the truck, but with the trailers, I feel as if that should be on them. But if you do it right, you are not gonna spend that much money on reefer. So I really don't just stress about it too much. Like I said, I really, this is about the only dislike. I really don't have too many dislikes. Oh, and for, besides the truck going 65, I'm going to let you know right now. If you if you decide to be a company driver, pedal is 58, cruise control is 62. Can't go no uh, faster than that. When you lease, pedal and cruise control is 65. I came from somewhere where I, I could go 68. 65, not that bad to me. It didn't take me long to get used to it or whatnot, but still if i could go faster i would like to go faster but that's pretty much my 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 dislikes and likes for that like i said pay is pretty good i don't i really don't stress about the pay i know what i signed up for i know the fees is coming out weekly i know i'm responsible for fuel i know i'm responsible for maintenance I do, it, it comes with responsibilities, but just be prepared for that. Also, let me go back to orientation. If you do decide to do leasing, they put you in a tax class to, you know, learn about so much stuff. You are able to start a LLC through the people that come to teach you the tax, the tax class, but you have to have a business account. You have to have a real account. You can't have the cash, you have deposit, chime. Venmo, like any type of basically prepaid, you can't you can't do it. You have to have a real bank account. You have to have a business account to be able to do that. Okay? So that, that's pretty smooth to me. Home time, I love it. Like anytime with my dispatcher, anytime I say, hey, can you put in me some home time for a whoop, swoopy, swoopy, whoopy, whoop, he doing it instantly. He tells me, okay, got your home time in. If I'm at home and I'm supposed to come back say i was supposed to come back today but something has happened and i need to come back monday they have not he has no problem pushing my pta out so home time to me this might be the best thing when it comes to me being you know at least being prime like the home time is not bad at all i know a lot of people ask about customizing your truck when you listen you can you can customize your truck but i think you have to be on a truck for at least 90 days before you can customize your truck you know you have people that's football fans basketball fans they you know customize they they put their favorite uh, football logo they change the color schemes of the stripes or whatnot like they put so much um if you have like uh, autism if you're trying to spare autism awareness you can get the autism symbol on it you can get breast cancer it's like so many different customizers that you can do to your truck you have to get approved of it but He's pretty cool with approving anything as long as it's reasonable. Like you can't have no off the wall type of stuff trying to put it on your on your truck. But he's pretty good with you know approving the things that you want on your truck. But that's basically my my review of being here for three months. Like 
I really don't sit long. I get good loads. Right now, I'm I'm Midwest Regional. At first, I didn't think I was going to be able to get it because if you don't know, I stay in Southern Arkansas, like borderline Louisiana. And they was like, they would rather for you to be like, actually stay in the Midwest region to do the Midwest Regional. But I asked, I was like, can I do it? And when it's time to come home, I just give me a, a load back to Arkansas. They was cool with it. So now I'm Midwest Regional. When I say I do not sit, before I even make it to my drop, I already have another pre-plan. Like, I love being in the Midwest. I know eventually I'm gonna have to deal with some snowy weather, but I'm not just too much tripping. I didn't have to drive enough some snow before when I was at a previous job, when I was team training. But that's pretty much my 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 three month review of Prime. And like, it hasn't been, it's been good to me. And it got me, you know, yeah, I, I'm, I'm making money that I, I never thought that I would see. I, that, that's all I can say. Like, yes, like I said, it comes with responsibilities, but you can run up a bag as well. Like, I, I absolutely love it. But that's pretty much it. I hope I answer you guys, you know, questions. If you do have anything that you want to add, you can always drop it in the comments down below. We reply to everybody. Also, you can hit up our Instagram is Zoe, Zoe and Day. You can hit that up. You can DM me. We can answer questions. And I'm trying to think of anything else that you guys might want to know. Oh, if you are leasing a good way, that if you they send you like recommendations on where to go, we use we use all type of fuel stops, Lust, um, Pilot Flying J, TA Petrol, Road Road Runner. We have used Circle K, Speedway. Like they have they have discounts with so many people but they send you fuel recommendations sometimes i go by the fuel recommendations sometimes i don't i had to learn because I, when i first started I, I lost a lot of money going by their fuel recommendations listen to like things to what they say how to fuel it and it messed me up it took a lot of money out of, of my check but always i do one fill up at the beginning of the week i fill my truck completely up that's with def and diesel after that, I start fueling by how many, about where I'm going. For instance, if I'm going 700 miles, if I'm going 700 miles and my truck is, is doing 8.7 miles per gallon, I do 700 miles divided by 8.7. It's gonna tell me how many gallons I need. I usually I usually put 10 extra gallons. So like, say for instance, do the math for y'all. Going 700 miles, I'm getting 8.7 miles per gallon. That's that's about 80 gallons. I usually put 90, 93 gallons in just to be on the safe side. But that's how you have to do it. Like, if you don't know how many gallons you getting per mile, I know with Frontliner. You get pretty good miles per gallon. But usually if I don't know the miles that I'm going, I usually divide it by eight. So if I'm going 600 miles, I do 600.8 miles per gallon. But you have a you have a have a, a menu button on here where like I started over after every trip. So I can know because you're like sometimes you're empty, sometimes you're fifteen thousand, sometimes you're twenty your load is twenty thousand, sometimes it's it's forty thousand. It all depends on how much you're carrying it's gonna and like if you're going through a bunch of hills or whatnot, it's gonna determine how many miles per gallon you get it. So I always start um, reset my trips so I can see the exact number of miles per gallon I'm getting and that's where I go by. So I always remember is the miles you're going divided by the mile, your miles per gallon equal how many gallons you need to get. Always do that if you can after the first fill up of the week because that will help you profit. You want to spend, you want to get as much gallons as you need for the week. You don't want to overdo it. Me, by Tuesday, because payroll starts over Wednesday, you can fill up. Payroll ends at Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern. By Tuesday, I want my I want my fuel light to damn near be on. I really want it to be on. I'm not even gonna lie to you, cause that's gonna let me know that I did not overfuel for the week and I'm, I made good profit and not spend more money on fuel. Like I said, it's 
the miles you're going divided by your miles per gallon going to equal how many gallons of fuel that you're going to need so i hope they help y'all also i really don't know too much the how the company does um i don't know if you can refuse a loan I, I really don't know too much about company because i'm i'm leased out my video it's really my three-month review on being a, a lease driver for crime. So, company, I can try my best to answer some questions for y'all if y'all was to comment down below or DM us on Instagram. But I really don't know too much. I don't want to tell you guys no wrong. You can always hit up a recruiter or anything like that, and they can give, possibly give you a better answer. I do a lot of recap runs. I really don't. This is my first 34-hour reset probably in a month and a half. And the only reason why I'm dead is because I I needed to rest. Like my body was feeling like it was for to give out on me, so I decided go ahead and get you some rest in. You're doing good. Just take this break or whatnot. But usually we on the road for about a month, a month and two weeks, and I'm running nothing but recaps. I'm I'm a runner. If you're new here, I used to team drive. Me and so used to team drive. We did 6,000 miles a week on a dedicated lane from um, Dallas, Texas to Arizona, Phoenix with our first trucking company we was with. So I'm not a trucker who likes to just, you know, one of those truckers who just chill and play around at the truck stops, that's not me. Only time I'm at a truck stop is for fuel and to, to go to sleep, that's, that's it. I, I like to be on the move, so I run a lot on recaps and they are okay with you running the own recaps if that's what you wanna do. Personal conveyance, everybody know what personal conveyance, you know there's a rules. You can only go up to a certain amount of miles. You can only do it for an hour. You cannot use personal conveyance if you're up on a load, if you're going to a load. You know, personal conveyance is personal conveyance. They're pretty smooth with it. I, I don't know if it's because I'm leased or not, but they're probably smooth with it with me because I actually use personal conveyance the way I'm supposed to use it. So, you do have personal conveyance on that. And also, any way you want to do the inside of your truck, you can do your mount, uh, mount your TV, you can put your lights around it, you can do whatever you want to do with your truck or whatnot, they're not going to raise, bitch and raise hell about that, um, they will put your CB radio in, I don't have one personally, I feel as if, if you pay attention, you watch your road, um, you stay, excuse me, you stay focused, I know people be like, yeah, did we need CB radios to let it be known that traffic jams, wrecks, whoop -de -whoop. if you pay attention and do what you're supposed to do, you don't need no CB radio. I'm not for to hear a bunch of BS the whole time, my whole 11 hours driving. I've never used a CB radio. I don't plan on using one. That's just me. But if you want a CB radio, they will install it for you. I don't remember for sure if I told you guys what church you can pick, pick from, but I know that with, you can pick out International, Freightliner, Peterbilt, and I have seen some Volvos you can pick from. I, I'm a Freightliner girl. I love my Freightliners, period. But, like I said, it's going to be a list, depending on what division you are in, tanker, um, a reefer, or flatbed, and they're going to have a list of trucks that are available. You can't order a truck as soon as you start leasing, you gotta pick a truck that's available. I think you have to be driving for nine months to a year before you can have them order a truck. Also, if you want to start off doing lease to purchase, I think you have to have at least $14,000 that you have to put down. So, that's pretty much hands up on that if you think as soon as you get in, you can go and just order you with brand new with Peterbilt. You're not gonna be able to do that. You gotta choose what they give you away. So that's pretty much for the video. I hope that was a good three month review. If I just ramble, I'm so sorry. Y'all know how I am. Trying to get better with it. I will do a six month review for y'all soon. If y'all down for that, I think that'll be either in January, December or January. I hope y'all y'all liked it. I hope y'all appreciate it. I hope I was able to give y'all some good information. If I wasn't, I apologize. If y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Turn on our post notifications so you can get notified every single time that we upload a video, we go live or anything. We are for the start going live more on YouTube, so I hope you guys can, you know, stay tuned and, and be in those lives with us. We truly, truly, truly appreciate you guys. We're on the road to 2K subscribers.
subscribers. Be really grateful for y'all. We thank y'all for y'all continuous support. Y'all so 100, bro. Like, for real, for y'all. Comment, keep engaging. Like I said, if y'all need to know anything, comment it down below or hit up our couple's IG. is Zoe and Day. All of it will be in the description down below. But, See y'all in the next video. All my niggas that try just like we playing the pain. Keep that smoking day. Your guess it always say. Fame came with less amenities than most I think. I love this life I live. Sipping on good drink. I need a house on the hill. Oh yeah, she gonna pills. I'm about to make a meal.